This is a beautiful and wonderful world. But there are some places that you probably don't want to visit. Some of them, called super fun sites in the US, are contaminated with all kinds of toxic junk, which are not good for humans or the environment and are considered hazardous waste. The sites that require long-term cleanup are put on the Environmental Protection Agency's National Priority List, or NPL. This next site was added to the NPL in 1990, Reed Kepler Park in West Chicago. It's a community area and swimming pool that happens to be right next to a landfill. The Rare Earths facility was dumping radioactive waste for 40 years until the early 1970s. In the mid-70s, various residents of West Chicago discovered that their yards were radioactive. A Geiger counter-invasion of West Chicago concluded. Low-level radiation was all over town. There was an estimated 13 million cubic feet of radioactive material in and around West Chicago. The Kermit E. Corporation considered West Chicago a permanent disposal site. Four West Chicago areas, including Reed Kepler Park, were put on the EPA's proposed Superfund list of hazardous waste sites requiring cleanup. Contaminated soil was dug up and added to an ever-growing mound. Kermit U was perceived as a greedy corporate giant, willing to sacrifice the life of a small town in order to put more money into the pockets of its stockholders. More money into the pockets of its stockholders. Willing to sacrifice the life of a small town in order to put more money into the pockets of its stockholders. The NRC ordered Kurt McGee to prepare a plan for permanent disposal of the radioactive mound in West Chicago. Kermit Yee argued that there was no other place in the nation that could take the radioactive material. In 1990, West Chicago's thorium mound would not diminish. The site was officially declared decontaminated, and you can relax by the pool without worrying about radioactive particles. Okay, it's gonna be a little louder, a little heavier, you know. Hey, come in here next time. Riley's Rock House, I'll never be here again. Riley's Rock House sucks!